Welcome to the screencast, which looks at key details for the Junior Cycle English Assessment task. We look at what it is and what you, the teacher, need to know as you supervise students to complete it. The assessment task is linked very clearly to the collection of texts. In the collection, students have a chance to celebrate their achievements as creators of texts. In the assessment task, students are asked to reflect on their growing awareness of the writing process. The task asks students to pause, to think, talk, and then write about some of the texts they've created and the experiences they've had of writing. The assessment task is one of the check-in moments our students encounter during their junior cycle English learning journey. It takes place after the second classroom-based assessment. Students must complete classroom-based assessment 2, the collection of the students' texts, before completing the assessment task. The AT is taken at a common level. It is specified by the NCCA and assessed by the State Examinations Commission. The AT will make up 10% of the overall SEC result. Inclusive assessment practice, in line with existing school arrangements to support the students' learning throughout the school year, continue to be available at the moment of the AT. Students complete the assessment task over two 40-minute class periods or over the 80 minutes of a double class. The first class is a preparation class. You show students a stimulus, either a short video or the transcript of an interview, in which writers talk about their writing and their creative process. Students then have a few minutes to discuss what they've just seen. The point of the stimulus is to get students thinking and talking about their own writing. They might see some similarities between their own experiences and what's outlined in the stimulus, but equally they might say, that's not me, that's not how I approached creating my texts. Essentially what matters here is that the stimulus prompts students to think and to talk in a specific way about their own texts and their own writing process. We then give students the booklets. Give them the prompts for section B, which won't be printed in the booklet. We will have to get these on the homepage for Junior Cycle English on curriculumonline.ie and then give students time to think. In the preparation class and the second class, students will have the two best texts they've written in front of them to refer to, quote from and consult as they complete the task. If they find it helpful, students can also have any previous drafts and any reflections or reflection notes they previously wrote about these two texts with them. In the second class, students complete the booklet whilst you supervise. Following the completion of the task, students ensure they have labelled their answer booklets clearly and the teacher follows established school procedures for submitting materials to the State Examinations Commission. So what does the booklet ask them to do? In Section A, students write in the titles and genres of their two best texts. They select a short paragraph, passage or verse from one text and transcribe it into the booklet. Then they reflect on this short sample of their writing either identifying two features in their paragraph, passage or verse which make it typical of the genre or identifying a specific change they made while they were writing this text and discussing how that change made the text better. Each student's answers will be unique to that student because each student will be writing about their own writing and specific features they can see in their own text. In section B, students write about their experiences of the writing process. There will be four prompts available on curriculumonline.ie and students select and respond to two of them. These Section B prompts may change from year to year, but they will always be based on the specified learning outcomes which are the focus of the collection of the students' texts. Again, students' answers are specific to their own texts and to their own personal experiences. The completed booklets are the only thing that is returned to the SEC. Before the assessment task, all materials will be prominently located on the curriculumonline.ie landing page for English. Booklets will arrive in schools the week before the assessment task. Teachers will select any one of the stimulus materials available on Curriculum Online to provoke discussion about students' experiences of compiling their collection of texts during Class 1 of the assessment task. Select the one you feel most closely reflects your students' experience in compiling their collection of texts. Along with selecting stimulus materials, teachers should take note of the specified writing prompts for Section B of the booklet. Ensure students will have access to their collection of texts, including reflection notes and any draft material during the assessment task. In summary, during Class 1, students read, watch, listen to the stimulus material. 
We allow time for discussion, reflection and preparation. Students will have their two best texts from their collection of texts throughout Class 1 and Class 2 of the AT. The teacher gives students the assessment task booklets and the specified Section B writing prompts, along with time to think. Where appropriate, teachers may read questions aloud and or clarify the meaning of words or phrases for students. During Class 2, we supervise as students write their answers into the booklet. Following the completion of the assessment task, we gather all clearly labelled booklets and then follow established school procedures for submitting material to the State Examinations Commission. Student texts from their collection are not sent to the SEC. All information regarding the assessment task used in creating this screencast is available from curriculumonline.ie. Importantly, the assessment task for English will be published on the landing page of curriculumonline.ie a week prior to the designated assessment task completion. Further supports are available online from curriculumonline.ie, examinations.ie and from the English homepage on jct.ie. Thank you for taking the time to view the screencast. As ever, you can get in touch with the Junior Cycle for Teachers English team by emailing info at jct.ie.